Facebook and Insta were going to be for about half an hour so that you can tune in and see what's going on <laughs> and what's cooking. And then we're going to be live with our participants on uh, YouTube and that's where you can watch the whole webinar of uh, about one hour and uh, at the end of the webinar we have a powerful meditation uh, for general calibration of your energy field beautiful um, pranic stream you know where you actually get the chance to um, you get the chance to have this pranic intake this uh, beautiful energy of pranic nourishment that we always offer and we also have coding so we code the energy body and the physical body with specific um, affirmations or mantras or words of power that are creating a specific vibration in your field so that's what we're doing now with this uh, beautiful uh, webinar and the whole program has these meetings every day where we meet for about an hour and we have uh, daily meditation and beautiful sharing we share about methods of raising your vibration how to raise your vibration how you to keep a high frequency a uh, beautiful state especially during this challenging time i know many people are needing this and we also play with something that i'm loving these uh, beautiful healing bowls each day we work on one chakra because there's seven gatherings from now on we have seven bowls one each day that gives the sound the frequency and the vibration of healing for that specific chakra so um, every day we do that today we're gonna actually work I was uh, gonna uh, start with the root chakra but I'm gonna start with the crown chakra because I feel it's really important now that we all open so this is the bowl that we're working with today this violet wonder and if you want to be in this program that um, is uh, live online for about uh, one hour each day and you get lifetime access to the recordings so you can always always watch and repeat the meditations if you want and just from the comfort of your home have a energy spa when you need it uh, if you want that then uh, of course you can choose not to join and get the recording if you can't be live every day so that's also a benefit of this program I uh, see uh, beautiful people joining in. Hi, Rajinder. Hi, Jam. Hi, Father Therapy. PSSM Global is online with us. Uh, and Violeta and many beautiful people. Grateful to be with all of you. And uh, the topic of today is uh, in very much in alignment with this color of this bowl. Because we are talking today about... Uh, mind mastery how to master your thoughts how to uh, channel your thoughts in the direction of the results that you want to have in your life and how to create <laughs> how to create uh, specific results with specific t thoughts it's almost like magic basically because you're programming your reality into being you're actually thinking thoughts that manifest certain vibration that manifest certain material reality in your physical world so that's what's happening and um, we're gonna talk about it but we're also gonna talk about how to pay attention to the thoughts that are diminishing or lowering your vibration that are twitching your reality into something that you don't really like to have or manifest in your life and uh, then you're surprised and people are surprised how am I getting this um, situation in my life I never uh, wanted this uh, it's almost like you argue with the universe or with God arguing like this is not what I wanted this is not what I asked for this is the opposite of what I want yes sometimes you don't pay attention to all your thoughts and some of your thoughts say I want this and that 
And uh, the rest of your thoughts that are less than conscious, maybe really subconscious, are saying that they, they want the opposite. For example, if you want um, abundance, but you despise money or wealthy people or uh, people that have well-to-do, you know, with uh, cash and cash flow, then you're actually despising that very vibration that you say that you say you want. So some of your thoughts say I want this, and some of your thoughts say I don't I don't like this, or I don't like people who have it, or so because I want to be liked, I make sure that I don't have it. So all these con contrary, uh, opposite thoughts are creating uh, conflicting realities. And either you have no money at all, or you um, get rich, get poor, get rich, get poor, get rich, because the universe is just serving you the order that you are ordering. Um, some people don't even get to get rich because um, they just despise wealth so much that don't really... Um, don't really get there at all. I was just talking today um, with someone in a local community group that we have and I love creating communities because it's people coming to unity, right? Come unity, come in unity. And um, it was a free sharing group. We all had a chance to um, to post whatever events we had. And then at some point, this person said that we're only, it's best that we only post the events that are free. Um, and the other events just posting once a week. So this difference between the things that are free and the things that aren't free uh, created a schism in the person's mind, right? Why would you only want people to know about the things that are free? Why aren't the things that are paid any good? Like... If I get the chance to find something good, find something valuable and pay the value that is meant to be paid for it, I am lucky twice. Once because I found it, twice because I had the money or the resources to make the correct exchange for that thing. So if you're judging paid things or the fact that you have to pay or the fact that some things come with a payment in life because indeed in this world, especially if you're a lot of time in 3D, most of the things come with a payment, like go figure, because it's the energy of exchange and it's necessary. So um, if you despise that, then you despise wealth and the circulation of abundance and then you cannot get rich or you cannot maintain richness or you cannot even uh, get close to that state because it's something you are judging. So. I was just uh, giving an example and uh, working with mind mastery to replace the programs that aren't for your highest good is one of the best services, one of the best favors that you can do to, for yourself. Yes, uh, and uh, as you know from the webinar of yesterday, we were saying that each day is uh, supported by an ascended master. The master that supports this topic of mind mastery and inner alchemy of emotions and thoughts is Saint-Germain, has the color of my bowl. I was saying that it's very in tune with the energy of today's workshop because Saint-Germain is working with Violet a lot. So, um, he is uh, the one who recommends that for the raise of your vibration, if you want to enhance your frequency, the solution is to master your thoughts, uh, be aware of what you're sending out into the field, and uh, always, uh, always, always uh, stay tuned to your highest frequency possible and uh, avoid or transmute the lowest, the lower frequencies that are maybe um due to the general programming that are uh, that is on the planet you know we are programmed to think negatively we are programmed to think bad thoughts about ourselves and others we are programmed to be afraid <laughs> we are programmed to fear uh, the loss of health or the loss of wealth or the loss of resources the you know last uh, invented thing is that the planet doesn't have enough resources, we, we, like enough energy, right? 
we are told that every day and every day I'm waking up and looking at the Sun go figure that's the most important source of energy it's free it's ever abundant it never sets like forever you always have it the next day and why would we say we don't have resources on the planet when this is available every day for everyone right why aren't we using that resource why do we have to deplete indeed the resources of our planet yes if you rely on petrol if you rely on gas if you rely on water to produce energy yes then you have a problem you have an issue you can't have infinite uh, petrol because petrol for the planet is like blood for our, for our bodies and if you extract too much blood from a body then the person what does uh, what happens to the person the person is becoming very depleted or ill or it might actually die the same thing happens with the planet it's not that it can produce uh, resources but we are extracting more than we uh, give it the chance to create so to change our focus from um, depleting energy to free energy is basically our solution and it's very much available it has been invented since uh, hundreds of years ago we had Tesla we had Einstein we had scientists who presented the possibility for us and for the planet they were indeed uh, some killed some not treated so well <laughs> because uh, free energy was not uh, the best option for everyone back then but we do have the devices we do have the possibilities and we have everything in place to be able to use that yet we are extracting resources from the planet and believing the fact that we actually don't have enough resources or don't have enough energy yet as I was saying we're looking at the Sun every single day plus after when you when you go even deeper and look at how the energy is actually created in your uh, pla on a planet or, and in your body you have uh, something even beyond the Sun you have the the vacuum field right that is an infinite uh, resource you can always have uh, energy extracted from the vacuum you can have devices and um, machinery and vehicles that operate with the energy of the vacuum you can have free energy in your body that is uh, you actually produce ATP in your cells much more than you consume from your food and these are studies that you know have, have proved there are th studies that have proven this and I've just written a book a few years ago that has shown uh, about these free resources and how we can tap into them and how many people on this planet are nourished in a different way, not needing physical food. So if our bodies can do it and the vehicles can do it and the devices can do it and we have that on the planet, we don't all know about it, but we do have it then why would we believe and reinforce the programming that we are given and fed that there's a resource crisis on the planet that is not true like literally there's not a crisis of resources there is however a crisis on how we use energy that's a different thing this is what we can talk about if we use energy in the same way that we used it before for our bodies the food that we're consuming, the um, hallucinogenic substances and all that stuff. And um, the way we produce energy in this energy transceiver, yes, we don't have a long time on the planet. The same way we don't have a long time on the planet if we keep using the internal resources of the planet, the blood, the lymph of the planet and everything she has. But if we move our attention to a freer source of energy, the energy of the sun, the energy of the wind, the energy of the vacuum that is infinite everywhere and completely free, then there's no crisis. The only crisis that we actually have now is the crisis of understanding and the crisis of wanting to move 
from the old paradigm to the new paradigm. And that's just a matter of thought, again. And we are invited to change our minds, change our thoughts, change the way we think and see things, and then eventually change the way we do things. So this is with mental programming. You can chew and swallow what you are given by public media and everything else, or you can use your own intuition and direction to actually know what's true. And the truth is there's no crisis. There's only the necessity of a big change and it is happening and we are part of it. So I just want you to, I just want to show you the book that I was mentioning because some people in the audience are curious about it. Uh, the Pranic World book where I actually talk about um, the free energy in our bodies and how people are nourished by prana and how people are um, able to live without using physical food and the science of it because yes many yogic books are referring to it but you don't have much scientific reference um, in the in the books that I found so now we've looked at the science of it the discoveries that have been uh, made and uh, we are continuing of course with the science because we want to go deeper into the qualities and the properties of our bodies and uh, what is uh, available for us now and in the future and we want to be able to replicate it really in a wise way and not just be something that some sadhu or some yogi or some saint in a cave has been able to uh, manifest. So I'm showing you the book. Actually, I'm showing you all my books since we're at it, but this important one that I was telling you about is called the Pranic World Book, and it has all the details on uh, what I found so far regarding Pranic nourishment, how my friends did it, because I have friends all over the world who have um, been in the state or are in the state and each one apparently had different methods so I've referred to different methods or technologies or <laughs> methodologies that kept people for a long time in that state I'm telling you about the detox methods and the, the methods that you can um, include in your daily life to upgrade your frequency because uh, pranic nourishment is the highest fuel for your body and for that you have to frequency match it right it's about aligning your frequency to the frequency of the vacuum or quantum field or pranic field and then your cells are just ready to basically create it <laughs> your, your, it says in this book that your cells are already producing 8 to 25 percent of energy that comes from an unidentified source. We don't know how to call it. NASA researchers have called it um, an ident unidentified source of energy. Uh, we call it, of course, chi, mana, prana, life force, or uh, energy force. But uh, in the scientific uh, world, uh, they didn't make a word for it yet, so they called it an unidentified source of energy uh, that they show in their studies that the body produces without the food. So if 25% of your energy comes from an unidentified source, or if 25% of your energy comes from prana, then uh, naturally with the lifestyle that supports it, with the practices that support this, and with the right mindset, you can increase that percentage. It's very clear thing. So increasing your pranic percentage is not a random thing. It's something that you can actually do in a sustained way every day. And this is what we're um, teaching in this uh, in this program. One of the things that we uh, help people do is to raise their vibration or increase their pranic percentage or their level of energy um, in a measurable way um, so that you need less food and you need less energy uh, for your body because you're receiving enough or more than enough every day. And I was promising you yesterday that today we also share the method 
uh, or the, the technique that you can use to measure your pranic percentage, your level of energy. So I was telling you that there's actually a very clear way to measure your level of energy uh, to know exactly how much energy you have in each chakra, how much energy you have in uh, each of your bodies because you have a physical body, emotional body, mental body, spiritual body and so on. You can measure um, each system of your body like the lymph system, the endocrine system and so on. So you can have a clear um, image or uh, feedback uh, of what you need to do with um, increasing your energy so maybe your root chakra doesn't have enough energy there's no point working on the higher centers you actually need to work on your base if you know that you know how to shift your energy how to upgrade how to heal how to uh, place the energy where you need to have it right well how to move it through your body or, or in your field in order to really have what you need and be what you need to be um, so this method is also going to be uh, shared in the second part of the webinar towards the end in the meditation that we are doing today and it's called the breath test the, the test of the breath because you're actually able to measure with your breath we don't use any device that you were expecting you know from from the outside we only use our own body because it is inhabited by a consciousness that knows and feels everything so we don't need any external stuff to be able to measure our energy okay so far so good I've spoken at a very rapid pace I don't know why <laughs> but now I would love to love love to know if there's any questions or comments on what we shared so far I see more people joining in Adrian and April Aromatics hi let me know if you make new perfumes <laughs> and uh, Shanu, Shani and Raj and uh, Christina and many others are joining hope Diana would make it today we have a few more minutes so I want to dedicate these few more minutes to you and your questions or comments in case there's any of those because uh, I don't want this to be a one-sided conversation I would love to be a dialogue love it to be a dialogue I would love it to be um, interactive so that you can benefit the most of it and have um, your questions answered hi Karen blessings to you too yes all right yeah for those of you who don't know who Saint Germain is uh, I was sharing that he is a master of alchemy uh, he was well known in uh, the previous centuries he was always around the royal courts or you know around some king or in some gathering that involved uh, very much um, this you know deciding the faith of a certain country or a certain um, group or alliance, country alliance so he was very much into supporting the good politics supporting the the evolution of humanity by making sure that the right decision decisions are uh, made for humanity so he was participating to all the main gatherings and many other um, important things and uh, he was really uh, helpful and even to f till today we uh, benefit from his presence in certain gatherings and I know that this sounds weird to some but uh, immortal people or people who have learned to preserve their bodies in a very beautiful way uh, they can actually appear with a youthful appearance for a longer time so this is what Saint Germain has done he's always having the appearance of a 30 35 year old uh, person when we when he comes into certain gatherings and um, some people can um, 
perceive him uh, with, uh, you know, intuitively and some others just actually see him as a physical person. Somebody asks how to increase your energy and stay positive. So that's the... Well, that's what the whole class is about, Chanu, and I would love to share this with you extensively during the eight webinars that we have uh, in this program. So you might want to join it and uh, be with us for the next eight days where we actually uh, talk about all these methods to raise your energy and stay positive when you are tendon, ten, where the general tendency of the population is to actually uh, fall into negativity, buy into the programs or uh, news that are um, shared, you know, and so on. Uh, one of the main things is basically stop watching the news. That's what comes to me as a, as a main answer, especially maybe for you. Stop watching the news is not useful, it's not true, it's not news, it's just fabricated information. So nobody benefits from it except for, for the people who create it. Um, if you want to have education and information, try to log into true sources of information and... Um, and, uh, and knowledge. For example, I, if I have time, I use it um, to receive information from Gaia TV, which is a very beautiful source. And uh, they have fantastic documentaries, fantastic news or information on what's new in science, what's new in spirituality, and what's new in the connection between the two, right? because that's how you can educate yourself in a safe way without any uh, big distortions. Um, they are sharing beautiful information and knowledge, hundreds if not thousands of documentaries and short films and uh, webinars, workshops, conversations. That's what I uh, pay, uh, that's why I, why I, I um, orient my attention to, right? Because it's good source of information. Or the Resonance Science Foundation, they are having some free classes and some paid classes and beautiful, support, solid information that uh, is really made to uh, upgrade your vibration. Um, the Embassy of Peace, again, if you look at the channel of Jasmine Heen or my YouTube channel, you have a lot of information, meditations, webinars, classes, all that stuff. Stay tuned to the good stuff. Don't fall into negativity uh, by tuning yourself into negative information. That's going to drop your frequency and it's natural because what we focus on will grow. Does this make sense to you? Has it been useful in any way? I'm curious to know. And um, try to do all this from a position of detachment, not necessarily fighting against the news, fighting against the media, fighting against, you know, all these con conspiracy theorists and conspiracy theories are also lowering your vibration. Why? Because you're still giving energy to that thing, but, you know, by fighting it or by pushing against it, the only way to really raise your frequency if, is if you move your attention in another direction that is useful for you and is of a higher frequency. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, somebody says 100%. 110% indeed. So with this, I leave you, my darlings, and hope to have you all in the program that we're um, having today. You can type yes in the comments if you want to be in the whole program. We include you, send you the, you know, link where we continue this webinar and you can make the payments later. Yes, it's a paid event for those who didn't expect that. Uh, you only have the free part here with what we've shared so far and uh, I would love to see you in the whole program. Type yes in the comments, you'll receive the link and uh, you can join us for the whole eight days and get the recordings and get everything, you know, to watch it from the comfort of your home and upgrade your frequency by sitting on the couch. Go figure. 
<laughs> so blessings to all watching on Facebook and Insta. There's a link in bio on Insta say, uh, that says Pranic Crosses Online and that's how you find our details. Um, and there's a link in the description of the video and I'm going to place it in the comments for easy access on how to join the uh, Pranic Crosses Online for eight days. Big hugs. Thank you, Shanu. Thank you, everyone watching. Thank you, Karen. Stay tuned on YouTube. Don't go anywhere because we're continuing. We're just closing the recording on Facebook. Big hugs.